Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad lesson. So let's get cracking. So, friends, on this tutorial, which I'll have a link up above if you have not done it, a user said, how do I space them if they're not the exact same size? Friends, I'll run through this real quick so you can see how it happens. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it back down to size 2. So we've got two of them. Just for giggles, I'll make it a little bit larger. So I'm doing Alt-Shift. Notice this adjusts, so I'm going to put it back to 2. Now, I am going to bring out the hole. I'm going to do Shift-Squish to pick the size I want. I am going to use 9. I'm going to do Control D, so there's two of them. I'm going to use the arrows to move it away, so they are a distance I am choosing. I'm going to select those two, and I'm going to group them. Now, what this does is it lets us get them aligned perfectly. So I'm going to click on the circle, and I'm going to do Center and Center. Notice if you don't understand those three dots, I'll move to the side here so you can see it better. These three dots were for this direction. These three dots are for this direction. And boom, they are now aligned around my cylinder. So the trick I showed you for spacing is just to do this. There are 360 degrees. Divide 360 by how many you're going to do. I'm going to do 8 because that's an easy one. If you divide, it gives you 45 degrees. So if you rotate 45 degrees and let go and do Control D and Control D, you've instantly got your 8 evenly spaced objects. Now here's the trick to make them different sizes. I'm just going to ungroup all those. And the distance between your circles is not going to be identical. There is no automatic way to do that in Tinkercad. But now I'm going to hit F to fit view on my cylinder. And then I can go to each circle and I can use Alt Shift to get them the way I want. So right now that is 8.89. If I do Alt Shift and say I wanted it to be 7, boom. It is still in the center of that spot because we did Alt Shift to go around the center and you can get your circles each to the size you need. I don't have a real size, so I'm just playing, but this will space them around as close as we can get in Tinkercad because there is no automatic method to make that happen. When you do have them all aligned, friends, all you do is hit group and boom, your nifty little circles will be cut out of a circle and spaced as evenly as I can come up with. Really quickly, let's highlight a few skills I want you to remember. Alt shift scales about the center and then if you're taking two objects and group them when you align them to the shape that way they're centered before you rotate them and then just afterwards ungroup so that you can change them to get the exact same size. Friends I know it's not perfect or as simple as some expensive programs but I think it might be useful. Of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.